Hello, I am Crochet Followers. I am coming to you on this Sunday evening, April 22nd. Um, I was about to go to bed, but I realized it was early. Well, early for me, even though it's 11-something. Um, working on the new swag bag for um, my one of my favorite, I mean, one of my best customers, um, Shonda, who's also a um, friend and breast cancer survivor. So... This is going to be one of my breast cancer survivor bags. Um, this is going to be the lining that's going to be inside of it. She doesn't know it yet. Hopefully she don't be on Facebook before she picks it up tomorrow. Um, and this... Guess what I dug out, dug out of the bin today that I haven't seen in a while. Haven't used in a while. This is my bag that I created four years ago. It's so funny. Doesn't it look similar to the swag bags that we're all doing these days? Um, this is uh, Peaches and Cream yarn. It's so funny. This is my first bag that I did once I started my business four years ago. Look at the lining. <laughs> Too funny. Yes, this is when I first started. Look at the sewing of the the little... My version of a button is a rose. Look, I had a little pocket, too. <laughs> I forgot all about this bag. And look at how I sold, sold it on. I literally, honestly, don't even really remember making how I did this bag. From what I can gather, I did two pieces of... um. I made two pieces, and I went row by row going, I'm sorry, two pieces, going row by row, decreasing on the sides, um, then I single crocheted them together at the bottom, and it looked like, to get this, I must have decreased on some rows, yeah, decreased every so many stitches on so many rows. To make it look like that. But it's funny. I forgot all about this bag. And you could tell it's an old bag. Well, maybe you can't. Looking at it, for me, I can tell. Because it's a little kind of fuzzy and, to me, dingy. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. So, yeah. I made my little... I'm so um, tripping because looking at it, like, wow. I made... The swag bag four years ago. <laughs> too cute, too funny. I wish I knew where I can get these handles from. I was looking for handles today and couldn't find it. Find any like that, the bamboo. So I had to wind up getting the wooden ones that I'm using for my customer. This one used for, you know, when somebody want to order. Or for another bag for me. Oh black one this is going to be my bag because I don't have a real black like a black bag so this black crochet I'm going to make my black crochet swag bag um, and this pink one for my eternity oh and I got me some more buttons to close and then this is lining that I'm going to start using like the animal print so for, I know for the, my next bag, I'll be using the animal print, if you can see it. Um, I got this purple one for my eternity with the monkey, with the smiling monkey, she says. It's cute. And it's, she likes animal print as well. She might have me like an animal print. And then purple is her favorite color. Well, purple and pink are her favorite color, so I'm going to make the bag pink, and the lining will be purple. All right, so there you have it, the new linings that I will be working with because I'm not going to use all my denim, my black denim jean material for lining because I might want to make an outfit or something. You never know with me. So, okay, that is all. Oh, my bag today was a hit. Well, it wasn't just my bag. I also wore the top, the yellow and purple top. There you have it. I had the, the um purple hat. Oh, I made me 
some flower earrings to go with the flower ring I bought today. Isn't it cute? Little earrings. I could put it on so you can see. And like I said, it matches with what I had on. I had a lot of people telling me I was doing the thing. You know, church, everybody liked it. Um, everybody loved my bag, of course. Um, therefore, I got two orders for the bag. And like I said, I got some more that's going to be coming out of me. It's cool to see that I made <laughs> what they call a well, swag bag, fat bottom. I don't know what they call it. I just made me a little handbag to go with my dress that I made for my um, birthday four years ago. I also have shoes to go with it, too. My first pair of shoes that I made. Yeah, I had the hat. Yep, I had a fedora. Um, I had a shrug. I had a baby doll dress. And I had crochet shoes, um, my heels, well, they wasn't real heels, about an inch, inch and a half. And then my bag. Yeah, I was doing it. This is the very first full outfit I made for myself, or that I made, period. But all right, talk to you all later. Um, just wanted to show you, show you all what I was up to, what I did today on finding the um, handles and... <laughs> Finding my bag in um, one of my bins that were packed up. But okay, I will talk to you all later. Be blessed. Know that God loves you and so do I. Hey everyone, this is a picture of me in my shoes and outfit. It's a picture of my daughter with the hat, earrings, and purse. And she was what, 14 at this time? Yeah, four years ago. Wow. I just wanted to show y'all a picture of it. I found it in the archives. <laughs> and here go the shoes. See? Told y'all I was doing it. <laughs>